Hey there everyone and welcome to regex or regular expression training and in this video we're gonna again talk about one more thing one more meta character and this is quite common if you have programmed past in C, C++, Java, Python, JavaScript or any language you might have seen this character quite a lot so let me give you more examples of this and this character is literally known as a slash here and usually it's like this one slash and there are obviously variety of uh, usage for this and just like always it's much more easier to understand this thing as far as i'll just walk you through okay so the common example is let's pick up from the last example so uh, let's just say that you have something uh, which says you know i have a file here so it says file.txt and uh, then there is something like some uh, let's just say some one and then I say txt and when you are getting an upload from this file maybe in PHP maybe in node or wherever you, you are having it you somehow want to make sure that your file name should be of only like a uh, four character or five character but at the end of it there should always be a txt and not just any txt just one uh, just dot txt okay now let's just say for this moment that we are saying that you know what we are just looking for matching up a dot txt so you might be thinking you know what i'm going to just write dot txt okay see the problem the problem is it also matches one dot txt if i write like uh some maybe some and just two dot txt this is also getting uploaded and we are not looking for that we are looking only for dot txt now in such situation we we actually don't want some special meaning of this dot what we want here is the exact dot to be matched and this is a quite common situation so in that particular situation you just put a, a slash here and this is a backward slash and this is just says you know what this time i'm not saying the dot as a special character i'm saying you should match literally the dot character and that's what this escaping of the character means now here's a caveat point again i'll mention all of the caveats point that i possibly could find now it's a very common situation that as a programmer you try to just say you know what i have to uh, i have to match this code and like something uh, something is written here by a very famous person so you want to match that so you might be thinking you know what these are also double quotes and we need to just put escape character and we have to say you know what uh, this is how double quotes works and then we have to use it no you don't do that in uh, regex at least so these double quotes don't have a special meaning meaning uh, they don't need to be escaped so please never 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 put a escape character before the double quotes or even the single quotes they are not treated with anything else you can just be relied and just put a, a single quote or double quote there okay okay now uh, just a couple of more example these are like the most common ones and uh, almost everybody doesn't make mistake here so for example uh, there is a directory that you want to match that is slash user slash or slash usr slash home slash uh, python and or python 3 this is a very common path which everybody gives who wrote code in python and you want to match this so you might be thinking you know what i can just copy this and just paste it there and there we go there are obviously some problems here and uh, that is why i'm using this particular regex art. this is really good so this is not a valid syntax and you might be saying why is it not a valid syntax the problem here is the regex is not able to find out that when you want to start it and when you want to end it because Ultimately, regex simply means start with a double the slashes and that's it. And you are just confusing this guy with putting a lot of slashes. Now, in such situation, this uh, backslash actually is super helpful. What you can do when you want to say, no, this time I don't want to end the regular expression. Instead, I, I'm saying literally find out the slash. You can just put this slash here. And now it's going to say, you know what? I'm not ending it here. I'm just putting a special character here. Okay and this is how you do the stuff again one more cautionary thing if you have understood this example let me just delete that and delete that one more cautionary example is that sometimes people say uh, let's just say i want to match a domain word here so i'm gonna say domain but i want everything to be literally domain so i'm gonna put a slash after everything like slash d slash o slash don't do that don't do that I know 95% of people won't do it, but I saw one uh, of the programmer when he was learning the regex trying to do it. This is not how you do it. Please don't do that. Okay. So 
make sure you don't put a backslash unnecessarily because it can turn up simple things into meaningful and meaningful into simple. Remember the dot example, okay? So this was pretty easy stuff again and don't worry, we're gonna just walk through easy, easy steps and then we will do complex stuff by combining all of these things. Uh, trust me, regular expression will become so much easy with this, okay? That's it for this video and I'll surely catch you up in the next one.